Hello everyone, I'm here today with a new process video and I am working on a layout for my Cincy album and I have a little something different going here. This particular album came with heavy cardstock dividers and normally I don't tend to use them but I decided I would give it a whirl on this album and so on the other side is the start of Friday and we had the plan that we would do the entire day at the zoo. So these photos that I have from the zoo are kind of it <laughs> for this day. There's not a lot else because we were there open to close. And the other problem is, is that I had a horrible, horrible migraine this day. But I refused to give in and go back to our Airbnb because we had planned the whole day. We weren't going to be able to fit it in otherwise. So I went ahead with it. But I do wish I had felt better and I had more pictures to showcase. And when I'm looking at this, I'm wondering if I should leave a significant amount of space here to journal about that. Uh, I do believe in keeping it real. So I do want to say something about it in my journaling at some point on these layouts. Why not here when I have a lot of room? This will be a pocket card. Obviously, I could journal there as well. But this, it would help me kind of fill the space too because there's a lot of blank real estate here. And in looking at this, I would actually be fine with keeping this background, but I feel like I would need like a washi border or, or something just to delineate between the photo and the background. To get started, I've taken out my bin that has all of my zoo stuff in it. And then I also have to get out my Cincy bin because I think I put some in there as well knowing that I was going to do zoo pages so I need to get that too but I want to at least have this at the ready because I'm sure there are stickers and maybe some embellishments in here that I can use so why not just have it at the ready so I've gone through both bins both my Cincinnati bin and my zoo specific bin and pulled out the stuff that I had and I went through all of my different cards that I have for the pocket over here and actually the only one I had in there doesn't even say zoo but it was part of a digital file set that was for the zoo it just says happening but look at the color I think the color is nice with what's happening here like the the um, edge of this the roof here is actually very close to this color so I like that and then it's very close to this and then I was looking at this sheet of chipboard phrases that I have from Echo Park. This is from Animal Safari. That's the line. So if you like it, go look for that. I'm looking at this one that just says zoo. I'm thinking I can overlap it on this. I'm a little nervous about how far down that zoo is going to go. I'd have to be very, very careful with it so it doesn't overlap this word, but I like the idea of it because it would fill the entire card. So I'd have that completely done, and then over here, then I could worry about my journaling. I decided to go for it, make sure that it was lined up with some space here as well as here, and I absolutely love the way that looks. I really, really like it and it adds some darkness in there so it's not everything like super bright in this color I also like that I think it's a good contrast to what's happening over here because I do have the dark writing and so this I feel like helps pull that in so I'm very happy with that choice now I have to figure out what to do over here and in looking at these photos I do have some choices while there is no pink over here there is a lovely pink shade in that flamingo and I'm wondering if I can get away with finding some washi that's that color pink and using it over here. I have picked out three different washi tapes here and it's always hard when I don't have this right in front of me what I'm working with to tell what's going to match the best. So I looked at these and I think maybe it's going to have to be this one. I thought maybe the ones that were more sparkly would be better, but I'm not crazy about those. I think this one. The only problem is, is I remember using this on something else, and I think it's very opaque once you put it down. So I'm a little worried about how that's going to show up. Oh, look at it. Why does Washi do this so much where it tears? So you can kind of see it's a very 
transparent. You can see through it. So I'm not, I'm not convinced that's going to be the winner, but I'm willing to give it a try. So I have that. And then I also pulled out these. Now these are also from Echo Park, but they're not from the same line. It's a different line. This one says Animal Kingdom. So they don't match perfectly, but Echo Park does have a look. They definitely, you know, have a vibe and a feel, and I think this would be fine with it. There is some pink in here as well, but I'm wondering if maybe I should just like do a piece of washi there and then up top maybe just take like some of the random animals and and put those on there just to, like bring in more color or something. I'm going to play around with it, but right now that's what I'm thinking. All right, so I put the washi down and it's not bad. And I don't know if this has faded for some reason. I keep it in a case so it shouldn't be fading like from light or the sun or if that's just part of it. I haven't used it in a long time to be honest and I don't totally remember but I don't mind it. So I think I'll go with it and then I my plan is to just align this like so but I don't want to adhere it yet just in case it changed my mind. But I am thinking like taking a sticker like this and kind of making a border up here where you can see the washi, but a lot of it is covered by the stickers. And even in just looking like that at that, I do, I do like it. So maybe I should adhere it. And then I can add the rest of the stickers. Yeah, you know what? I like it enough. I think I will. So I have that all adhered now, which is great. And I was looking at these stickers and I definitely want to use this one because it's the right color. Ooh, though, you know what? I'm wondering, should I have something else in between to space that out a little bit? Maybe I should. Maybe I should do, like, this cute little cheetah, maybe. Kind of like the walrus, though, too. What other colors do I have? I do have a little gray there from the rhino. Do I have a rhino on here? No, but I have a gray hippo. So maybe it's going to... He's a little too big, this elephant. So maybe it's going to have to be this hippo or the walrus. I decided to go with the hippo because that's the whole reason why we wanted to go to this zoo is because of their hippos, Fritz and Fiona. So I figured that was appropriate to have that in there. And then I have my little bird guy. And actually, I thought I wanted him tilted, but now that I see it, I think I want him straight up and down. Let's fix that. How about that? Yes, I like that better. Okay. Now I can do the other washi at the bottom to bring in the pink down there as well. And then it might be done. I'm not sure. I thought it looked a little blank up top, so I decided to put a butterfly away from these kind of by itself up in the corner. And because it's so dark, but I felt like black was needed because I do have it here and a little here. I want to bring in something else right here plus my black journaling. And I think that will be enough. I'm thinking maybe on this same sheet, just use the camera. Why not? It's already there. It's small enough, so it's not obtrusive. And then it can be opposite. I like it on a diagonal here. So it could be like right here. And then I can do my journaling below. So actually, you know what? In looking at this, that's my plan. I don't think I need to do anything else with these other than that journaling. So here's another one done for Cincy. Thanks for watching.